This video is going to be all about Megasquirt. I'm going to tell you why I want one in my car, what it is, the history of it, what, what an EFI system is, how it works, the basic principles, and how you can build one yourself. I'm going to show you my soldering and give you some tips and techniques on the way. So let's get right into it. It was in the late 90s when two men called Bruce Bowling and Al Grippo created the EFI 332. It was a fully fledged fuel management system with functions such as sequential ignition, coil and plug, and idle control. It was pretty advanced even by today's standards. There was a problem with it though. The system was specifically developed for Al's old Camaro. To make it work on any other vehicle, a lot of software and hardware changes were necessary. In order to make something that actually could be used by other people, the project was scaled back and transformed into what today is known as the Megasquirt, a fuel management system that could be configured to use on pretty much any vehicle. What I'm using here is the Megasquirt 1 with the version 3.0 board. That means that this is the first generation of Megasquirt microcontroller. There are newer ones with more functionality, but they are also more expensive. And this one fits my application just fine. So when I'm building this, I'm using two manuals actually. Uh, so this one is from the MS, I think it's from, this is from the Megasquirt website. And it's for the MS2 with the version 3.0 board. Actually, remember I have the MS1. So that's why I also have this one. This one is from the MS Extra forum website, whatever it's called. And this one is for the MS1 version 3.0. So this is the go-to guide. But I think this guide is much more detailed in how you find where you should mount all the components and stuff. So I prefer using this one. But there are some mismatches, like uh, some parts shouldn't be mounted on the MS2, some parts shouldn't be mounted on the MS1 and vice versa, which I already said. Um, and that's where I'm at. Now, I'm at this step 21, which says I should install the voltage regulator U5. And the problem is in the MS1 manual here, uh, the only place I found them mentioning voltage regulators is U6, U3, U7, and U4. They don't mention U5. And I've looked through entire of this manual, and I'm pretty sure they never mentioned U5. But I have U5. I mean, U5. It's in the kit. And this is like, this is the MS1 kit. So I'm fairly confident that there should be a U5. So this is the thing when you, this is the problem with 
DIY things. I, I think every, pretty much everyone knows that if you buy a kit that fits your car, it's not going to fit your car. In this kit with a U5, it's not going to fit. Well, actually it's going to fit. I found the place where it should be. Uh, let's see, there, that's the U5. So I'm going to mount it anyway and uh, hope for the best. Assembling your own Mega Squirt isn't really hard. As I said, there are instructions on the internet, and both the components and the PCB are designed to be built at home. All you need is a soldering iron, some solder, and you're good to go. I have actually now skipped step 23 in the MS2 manual, which is check the power supply. Uh, which is because I don't have a stimulator yet. So whenever you build a Mega Squirt, you should have a stimulator. Uh, I don't know why I didn't order one right away, because I thought that I didn't need it, but I have <laughs> reading in the forums and just come to my senses, I realized that you should have a stimulator. Uh, you use a stimulator to test all the functionality in the Mega Squirt and also to test, you know, you can do some basic experiments with the tuning uh, at home so you don't have to be with the car. So um, now I've ordered a stimulator, but it probably won't arrive in until next week. So uh, I skipped that step, but now I come to the next step, uh, next test step, which is to test the serial port. And uh, I really don't feel comfortable just skipping all the test steps, mounting all the components, and then in the end something's wrong and you don't know where it is. And you can damage something when you start mounting all this um, all the uh, ships. So I'm going to stop here for now. I'm going to go to town and buy a serial to USB cable. I'm going to bring my computer so I can test it and uh, wait for the stimulator. So in the next video uh, will the stimulator will have arrived, I hope. We will build it, because it's a kit as well, so we will build it, I will uh, talk a little bit about what it is, and we'll take it from there. So, I hope you uh, follow me, <laughs> I don't know, uh, see you in the next video, bye!